Welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Double AC20. Double AC20, when deleting your opponent isn't enough. Alright, so last episode we had a four skull assassinate mission. And we're going to take the main lance out today and I think we're going to do a three skull assassinate mission. Either this one, three skull assassinate mission, or... So, see, this is the locals, right? And we're, I don't think we're going to get... Well... So here's my thought. If we do this one... It's, it's 523 salvage, which is pretty good salvage. 20%, per, I mean, it's probably going to be one guy plus two lances, which I think we could handle without a problem. But I'm also looking at trying to get quick sell stuff, and I think we probably have a better chance of getting that through the locals than we do versus the Commonwealth. So I'm going to take the three skull against the locals here. And hopefully it's a good fight. Is there a three and a half? There's a three and a half against two. The Commonwealth. If it was against the locals, I would probably go for it. Let's just, what, what's this one down here? Against Comstar. It's too many units against us. We'll go against, we'll do this one. We're looking for quick sell gear. So let's go do this. Full salvage course. 315. They could have good gear. Usually it's... The, the amount of selects you get are usually, uh, in, I guess it's inversely proportional to the uh, competition that you're against. All right, Jenkins, apply. And then we need to bring down, take the Pegasus out, and we're bringing in the other Hetzer, and this will be our new Lance. And then uh, let's save as Jenkins, I think it was. Better make sure I click in this time. There we go. That should do it. Let's go. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's do this and let's hope they get reinforcements. We got one lance. It's supposed to be poorly maintained, but you never know. Huh. <laughs> Full moon out there. Watch out for werewolves. Or they will consume your blood. Will they? Thinking it's <laughs> vampires that suck blood out of people. Well. I mean, if werewolves eat you, they're technically consuming your blood as well, aren't they? That's what werewolves want you to think, and they suddenly pounce on you and empty your body of blood. <laughs> ah, nice. At least Darius has got a sense of humor. And he'd answered that question exactly how I would. Ah. If you get something wrong, make sure you make a joke about it. In the process of correcting yourself. Alright, they could have two lances. Ah, maybe not. I don't know. Let's, um, you know what? I fought from this hill before. So let's not do it that way. Well, this way we got to clear the hill. I want it to be a good fight. So, like, I mean, let's start back here. Let's go right there. See how good of the fight this ends up. It's a small battlefield, so. We're kind of, we are facing the right way this time. Nice. Alright, let's hope they got some good shit. Got something you want done? Not just because I want some good shit out of this battle, but because On the move. Full speed. I want a good fight. Ooh, that looks like it could be... Is that an awesome? Awesome. Scorpion. Merlin. That's like a 55 tonner, right? Or 50 at least. 80 ton awesome. Scorpion. That's... I think scorpions are 55 or 50. There's got to be one more there somewhere. Ready for orders. All right, big sexy. So it's up there that they can see us. So let's just walk to here. Don't get them, get it to the, so they can see us just yet. Everybody's got a crest at the same time. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oh, they got missile. Uh, they, they sensor lock you and then shoot somebody else. So last episode I mentioned that the second quick cell Hetzer is going to be supporting the first one and they're going to dart in together. Oh, they got an Atlas! Well, this is Lyran Commonwealth, so I mean, this has got to be a Scout Lance, right? Orders. Um, that's going to... 
complicate things a little bit. Oh boy. We can't, I mean... I gotta segment who we're striking here. Oh, this looks gonna be interesting. This will be interesting. So I was saying before that the uh, the other Hetzer will be supporting this one, but it can't because the LBX PPC, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on who you talk to, um, let's get you up to here, does maximum damage at maximum range. And it, the damage falls off the closer you get to the enemy. Sorry, it's not an LBX PPC, it's a quick sell heavy PPC. So it does max damage at max range. Which is weird, because it's like, it does, that's like the worst chance to hit. But, whatever. Standing by. Uh, let's go here. I don't know where it's... We're still down behind the hill here, I think we're fine. Gonna target that awesome first, I think, since it's pretty much... It's not on its own, but hopefully we can get it on its own. Oh, um... Yeah, I can't get it into my firing arc, unfortunately. So let's just get up to... Yeah, stay in the trees. It'll reduce the damage of any la um, lasers, any uh, LRMs dropping in on us. So yeah, it's got to stay at range in order to do the maximum da amount of damage. Excellent. So, this is probably going to be a target of opportunity fight. I cannot let the... Uh, you know what? We're going to reserve. I can't let that Atlas let see us. Me, Chief. I got a feeling we're going to have to pull him down last. Reporting. Minimal damage. Excellent. Reserving action. I mean, we can probably drop... Well, with a well-placed well backstrike, the Merlin and the Scorpion are both prey for the Hetzer. Yeah, by the way, I changed his name to Mr. Ripley, because he's the talented Mr. Ripley. Um, what am I doing? Nope. Reserve. Reserving action. Okay. Yeah, see, we don't... What are we hidden? I guess this is a hill here. So we're kind of hidden all the way along. Let's pull into there. I mean, technically, these this headset should support the other one. I'm hold off on Scooter. Action. Uh, we're tanking our initiative for next done. turn. Gotta be careful with this. Yeah, because I can't move forward without that Atlas seeing me. Uh, let's just reserve again. Sorry, double hitting stuff here. Okay, that's the awesome. Good thing their pilots aren't amazing. I will reserve again. Mr. Ripley can hold on. Want that Atlas to go. God, we're tanking the initiative really bad here. When does the Atlas go? Look on one. Waiting for my opening. Ready for orders. Get down to here. This, this awesome is too close. Let's just try and kill this guy quickly if we can. Um, 
So he's not that, I mean, he's got, he's the LRM awesome, so it's not that tough. I mean, it's still a lot of damage if I was to take it in one of my, on well, this guy or on my 45 ton, or, thir yeah, 35 tonners. Firing. Ooh, that was close to a head hit. Upper shoulder, I think. Waiting for orders. All right, big sex. Get into here. That's not bad. Let's put the light rotary up. AP FSDS full round shot. Hopefully pen some armor here. I doubt it, but... Okay, pretty good damage. Commander. Natal. Can you get... You can. Same idea. Let's get you on and firing. Acknowledge. I didn't turn up the number of shots, damn it. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. I live to serve. God damn, wherever I go, the Atlas is gonna see me. Let's just go further okay. away and reduce the chance of the AC twenty hitting me. I have no resolve left, it's fine. Uh, I gotta go with both of these. Okay. Commander. What do you think, buddy? I mean, it's not the best strike. Forty-six. We've killed with less. Let's get into here. Aye, aye. Trees to reduce damage, and I'm further away from the other enemy, so it's harder for them to hit me. Ooh, that's beautiful. Firing. Confirmed. Yes. Receiving you. Okay, let's capitalize on that. Take the solid blue line. Got this rock to protect us a little bit, and this one to help help us out. Um. No, I'm going to leave the incendiaries off. I'm going to save those for the Atlas, I think. Confirmed. And a knockdown. Oh. I can't remember if I put the energy crit on this guy. I can't remember if I put the energy crit on this guy. The fire control system that we've been discussing in the past uh, few episodes. Yeah. Yeah, I... Because I was going to put it on this guy because of the uh, p -p 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 pulse, but I think I forgot to do that. What's our damage here? C27. Like, we got to be. Like, I uh, can't even get him in. It's really a toss up, right? Like, you want to be at range to do the most amount of damage, but you also want to be in a position where you can actually hit the enemy. Um. Copy that. We'll take a shot from range here. I think we're pretty safe overall. They haven't displayed a uh, propensity for good targeting so far, so. Nope. Targeting systems janky. It's not the targeting systems that are janky. Yeah, see? I was really hoping for a quick sell here out of these guys. So far, it's the Marians that have had the most amount of quick sell stuff. That's all you got? Don't Ready tempt orders. fate. You know better. Uh, I don't have enough resolve to get ahead of that. God, I really don't like moving here. Uh, 
Let's go there. On We're the away way. from the Atlas. Merlin can see me, but the Atlas can't. Right? Yeah. We gotta get a shot off on this guy. I think we just go for the core at this point. As much as I want to keep stuff off this guy, I think he's got to die. Okay, good damage, but not enough. I think I hit something good. Receiving you. Tucked in behind the rock. Feel pretty safe there. When he gets up, he's not going to have that great of targeting anyway, so let's wind this up. CT hits. There we go. That's a kill. Ah, he had follow the leader ammo yes, too. Copy that. Move it up here. We're gonna brace. Excellent. Good to go. Let's make these guys sweat. No shooting, Let's make them running. sweat. Mr. Atlas, we're coming for you. A shot. A shot. Ready for orders. The question is, is do we give them Yeah, that atlas can't get around those rocks enough to see me, so let's move here. I gotta be careful, because that thing's got an AC-20, and it's it's an ending day for any of my guys if he gets that off. On it. If he lands that shot, it's a bad time. Okay, Merlin's got pretty good armor. Eight something, right? 840. This guy's got 560, so it's not that bad. It's nice that this quick sell Hetzer he can draw some fire here. What do you need? Can you draw the ire of the Atlas? Probably. Do I want you to draw the uh, draw the ire of the Atlas? I think so. Moving fast. I think we're at good range with that. It can't hit with the uh, 22, 24, 38 damage, 54 damage. We'll go after this guy. I think. Copy that. Nice. At least we landed it. You know, I don't think he can get into range with the with the twenty. Why do I open my mouth? Ow. My armor's melting off. Yeah, well. Orders. The rest of us have to go against that thing very shortly, so I mean Stop fucking complaining. On the move. We're gonna be taking that twenty hit. Unless the talented Mr. Ripley can save us from it. Uh, I'm going to turn that off to drop recoil this turn. We'll fire the rest. Locking on target. Wow, nothing. Orders. Coordinates received. Now, you didn't fire your rotary, so we should be okay to fire it again. On it. Oh, for fuck! You saw me click on the rotary and it just fired. The, the misclicks it, are just really getting annoying. Like, brutally annoying now. Let's get into there. I think we're down far enough the Atlas can't see us. I guess we'll find out shortly, though. Okay, so... Acid to the top. Firing. Roger that. Okay, not bad. All right, Mr. Ripley, let's see if we can uh, solve our Orders. Atlas problem. Ooh, there's the back strike there. Let's not do that. Vigilance, confirm. Sprint. It's saying it's garbage, Roger. but once we get there... Even if I get like a 30% chance, I'll be happy. 46, I'll take that. Affirmative. Damn, we missed. Ripley's going on 16, this guy's going on 14, okay. Not bad. 
Yeah, you better back up. Oof, good damage. So it's got 50 and 70, so it's it's pretty weak in the back. So we're going to do standing by. This with Mr. Got Ripley. It. He's coming back next turn. Just gotta drop our recoil. Got at least one of the machine guns back. That's good. We are going to move this way because this should put us on the other side of the hill from that atlas. Onward. Um, I'm gonna switch this out. I'm gonna save the acid for the atlas. Okay, pretty good scatter. Structure's exposed somewhere. Torso, okay. Receiving you. Roger that. Now hopefully when I click on the light rotary rifle, it doesn't just fire automatically. Alright, going after you. Firing all the Great damage. Standing by. Perfect, let's get to here. I don't think that Atlas can get around that thing to fire at this guy. I think I think that's not an, is an option for him. I don't I hope it's not an option for him. Aye, aye. Target's taken a critical hit. Divide and conquer, baby. Divide and conquer. Okay, he's coming back this side. Okay, he missed with the AC20 this turn. This with the AC-20 because I didn't talk smack about it. That's why. What's up, boss? Whatever you do, don't talk smack about your enemy. Because they will definitely <laughs> surprise you. Let them fight their fight, you fight your own fight. Running that back up again. Yes, goodbye. Then there was two. Mech destroyed. Take the kills where you can get them, boys. I guess I should switch that, to, switch that to people. Take the kills where you can get them, people. Standing by. I still want him to come after me, so I'm going to go over here. Now, where did he hit last time? Oh, of course, the side I have facing them. Because where else would it be? Copy that. Nice. It's a good thing I got tons of quick sell parts. Quick sell headser parts, that is. I'm receiving you. Uh, let's reserve. Waiting for the shot. Okay, Junker. I'm here. Get over here. Acknowledge. I'm lowering our chance to hit by being in the trees, but if that atlas comes out comes around on me. Nice. Oof, nice hit. And your battle's done now. You gotta back out. Crap, that shot went internal. It did. Alright, we're not gonna get a shot off at that guy. My worry is that we gotta like expose to, for this atlas. Um. Hmm. Let's go here. At least we're dropping our recoil. Receiving you. What do you think, Scoocher? Gonna pull back here. Out. I don't think that Atlas can get around and get a shot at him. Of course, now that I said that. 
Ah, uh, we can leave that off. If this guy had a lot of open areas, I would probably throw it on. I don't think it's going to mean anything against the Atlas. Ooh, okay, I don't know if that hit or not. It doesn't look like it did. It lagged and I thought for sure he was taking his, somebody's head off. I was like, ah, fuck, he's going to kill somebody. Waiting for orders. I was waiting for that pilot scream. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't trade with this guy. Let's move. Can't trade with this guy. Ready for orders. All right, Mr. Ripley, let's uh, show this Atlas your unique talents. Can we just move? So it's 65 with just a move. And it's 59 without. So we're going to move with... It's just outside the range, but... Copy that. That sprint is tanking our uh, chance to hit, so we're just going to pop around here real quick. It should give us four chevrons. Four? Yeah. Oh my god, 90%. Please double CT this guy. Locked on. Rear armor. Target's taken a critical hit. Yes. Waiting for orders. Get down here, dropping some heat, get our recoil back. Hot damn. Let's do this. Alright. Atlas is going on 14. Big tax on eleven. You're on 14. When is this guy on? These guys are all on 14. So who's going first here? It's you. No. We're going to reserve. And Jenkins is going to reserve. I want to see what these two guys are doing. I'm happy to move our other heads here, but I want to see what these guys are doing. You're coming up the hill. Who are you going against? Oh! That, that, I think that was a CT hit. Reporting. Heavy damage. I think I, I have like 140 armor in the CT, I think. Yeah. So that was a heavy CT hit. Oh my god, thank god he hit the CT. Standing by. Can we push him? He's got so much armor though. And I can't rely on Mr. Ripley to kill him next turn. I mean, we could hang around and use machine guns and hope we get some crits on him, but... He's just got so much armor. Are we gonna get a knockdown? Like, if we open up, he's going to go before us next turn, too. Fuck it. Location. He's got us trapped. I mean, as soon as he clears that hill... Right? As soon as he clears the hill, we're in trouble. So, let's just go after him, then. Oh, yeah, man. I think we can knock him down. I think we can knock him down this turn. Wrong target, buddy. I think he was hoping for a kill. Aye, aye. He was hoping for a kill. Not today. Oh crap! You can't. You can barely get anywhere. Going here though. Understood. Moving fast. Shoot next turn. Ready for orders. Oh god. Best chance to hit is here. That just means if he misses me, he hits this guy. Fuck. Alright. Take the second best chance to hit. I mean, there's still a chance he could hit the other guy, but... It's a little less if they're not lined up, I guess. Alright. Not enough. Standing by. Can I get a solid line on you? I can't anywhere. So if I'm going to do that, let's get the partial okay. cover here. Might as well take the partial cover and at least it'll help me out a bit. Acid ammo, firing. Alright, good damage. Ready for orders. And scooter. I really hope we get good initiative. Let's move. Oh, I hope we get good initiative. I'm rolling all of my dice at this moment. 
All of the dice are being rolled. Put this on. Firing. Oh, that looked like a head hit. It was. I'm out of short range missiles. Almost got enough. Yes, Commander. Twenty seven. I'm gonna drop the recoil. I'm just gonna hammer him with machine guns. Got the angle, taking the shot. Another AC twenty crit. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Yes, Commander. This is gonna do it. Primitive. Everybody's on this guy till he's down. Mortar and grenade launchers into the building until it's gone. Acknowledge. Yeah, plenty. Have a seat, my friend. And he's out. <gasps> That's what you call juicy salvage. <laughs> that head hit, though. That's what did it. That's what did it. Let's finish this guy off. He's in a bad place. Let's give him the what for. Um, do I want to drop... Wait, how what's my initiative? 18 for metal. If I do a... I'll drop his initiative if I do a... I don't think it's going to drop it by 5, by 4. It might. Let's try it. Putting one in the back. That's only minus one. Oh, no, he's down to 17. Okay. Good. A critical hit. Good, 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 good. Standing by. That's a back strike. We'll take that. Locking in coordinates. Now, if I do the same thing, I don't know if it I don't think it'll be enough for that. I'm gonna fire the rack anyway. Hopefully we land at least one shot here, but we'll fire everything else. Time to unload. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay, he's stressing. We got two guys left. Oh, three guys. So the hatcher hasn't gone yet. Yeah, you run. Good damage. Good damage. The hatcher hadn't been hit. That's why I didn't move last turn. I'm here. I was like, yeah, he hasn't been hit yet. I think he's fine. Now, don't miss this shot. Because I don't want to be eating that with one of my other guys. I gotta get used to not moving in either. Firing. Okay, nice damage. Oh yeah. That could have been way worse than what it was, but there it is, folks. Mission successful. Alright, well that was definitely the fight I was looking for. I mean we took the big AC twenty hit in the CT, and my vehicle took an AC twenty hit, but how do we do? Vindicator got one, Panther got two. And the headset got the got the bailout. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Oh man, I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to more of those. And then I can't not do that. We didn't get any quick sell stuff, so I can't not. Although we do have two Atlas parts already, but I don't think there's anything else here. I mean, the Scorpion is kind of interesting. If we end up getting it, great, but. And I'll run it too. Like if we get the scorpion, I think I've got a scorpion part in here. Do I? I got Merlin parts. No, I don't have any scorpion parts. I, I got to remember to keep doing that. But we do have. Yeah, the DDR is what version though. Refit of the ASD seven. Giving it the Gauss rifle, medium lasers, and Artemis for the launchers. I don't know. Maybe we just run the standard Atlas. I have to build an assault lance now. You know that, right? I mean, we got the heavy lance, but we have to build an assault lance eventually. Like, what do we have here? Oh, we got still plenty of heavies. We got this guy and this guy still. We could move the two Orions up and put these guys into this. So, I mean, I don't want to run a second avatar. I want to run something different, obviously. But anyway, let's take those. Can't not take that. Got the awesome part. That's awesome. See what I did there? 
See what, see what I did there? All right, <laughs> we don't need the extra LRM-20, so we can drop that. Medium lasers can go. We'll keep the regular PPC. The 240 core can probably just go because we have one. Standard, basic. Yeah, we didn't get much else, but I don't really care. All right, we're losing Atlas for us. You know, somebody has said to me, like, last year that this year I'd be building a, uh, a unit completely out of Quicksell mechs using the weirdest gear and being very successful with it. I would have laughed you off the planet, but uh, wh what, can I, what can I say? That was a good fight. Um, it could have been way worse, but I mean, we ended up, I think we, the, the drop location was perfect because it enabled us to, to at least see one mech at a time. If we had gone down behind that hill that we were kind of at at the end of the fight there, if they had crested the, the, that, that hill with the Awesome and the Atlas at the same time, it would have been a really bad time for us. But being able to pull down that Awesome first, and then the Scorpion committing, killing that one really quickly, the battle changed instantly when that Scorpion went down, and then it was just finishing them off. But the Atlas could have still done a lot of damage to us. If he had not hit my, hit my CT and tore my side off, I would have died. Right? If, if, he had, if most of that had hit one of my torsos, the Vindicator would have gone down. Because we're running the, the Quicksell XL engines, right? So you take a torso, the mech's gone. Or if he had gone after one of the two Panthers, he could have easily destroyed one of those with a side torso hit. So we got real lucky. We got real lucky in that fight that he, hit, he did when he did fire and it connected with the CT of the Vindicator. So, yeah, that worked out really well. Um... Let's go to the command center. I want to do actually. Let's go to the mech bay real quick because I want to do a couple things. One, I want to see what these two mechs have. Hey, commander. Because I'm going to get rid of sense. these. I can't keep everything. I can't. I can't build everything. I mean, like in the past two missions, we've made like almost a million, which isn't a lot. So let's just. I'm going to trash these, but I just want to see what they have on them. Like I know what. I'm just going to show you guys what they've got. So we got a large pulse laser here. Tracer ammo, some jump jets, not much else in this guy. And I think the swordsman doesn't really have much. So we're just going to end up trashing these. Yeah, I wish there was a way you could segment. And I know it's like ridiculous amount of coding. SRM4, AC5 ammo. Yeah, not much on this guy either. I think the searchlight goes with it. I don't think it comes off, so... Yeah, I wish there was a way that you could do that. Like, once you bought the Junk Leopard, that you could split your, your units in the map and one could go to one place and another one could go to another place. Or you could drop off one. Right? Like, let's say the jump ship, the jump, or the drop ship is only planet capable, not capable of interstellar space travel. You could drop off one on one planet while your Argo and the other drop ship goes to another planet and run one missions with one Lance on one planet while you're running something with the other one on another planet and then come back and pick it up. You'd still have everything in the same mech base, so you're only allowed a certain number of mechs. But, because I mean, technically, Bay 1, Bay 2, Bay 3, one of these is technically the Leopard Bay, which really isn't a maintenance bay, but these are all in the Argo, technically. Right? So, you'd have, you still have the limited number of mechs you'd have, but you could split planets where they're, where they're on. I think that would be a cool game mechanic, because then you could have a really low-level lance, and a high level lance and go to different planets and and do the fighting there because um, i always play by by planet level and not by like unit level because unit levels is more tricky because it would take the max of my guys and then all planets would be at that level so it would be tougher to have like a, a light lance and a heavy lance running at the same time but you know that being said we got what we got all right let's just trash these two and then we're going to call it for today 156,000 will scrap you up. It's not bad. And we can scrap up the swordsman. 124. And then we're going to go to the command center. So next episode when we come oh, back, we are going to take this one here with the third lance. It'll be the first time they're fighting. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But we got two mechs and three vehicles. We got the uh, Stormcrow nice and the uh, Centurion. The Still the same builds. The Centurion's got the... Um, the light AC-20 and the Stormcrow still got the light PPCs and the AC-5. Uh, somebody mentioned that this is kind of a lighter loadout for like like the medium heavy area. And I, and I agree. Like, I mean, if we were hitting everything, it's like still like kind of around medium damage for like a heavier lance. 
but for a for a medium lance like this, I think it'll it should be it should work really well. I think I'm gonna keep it configured like this: the AC5, two light PPCs, and a couple ER mediums. Plus, with the rockets on there, it should help out a little bit. I don't know. I still kind of like the loadout because I mean it is it is very restrictive. We got the Thunderbolt two pack for the extra damage. I wish I could get the shotgun on one of these guys though. Maybe we can get a mech with two hands that I can get a shotgun onto. Although this guy I think has two hands. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm gonna put him back down here. It's still a possibility to run into this lance, but right now we don't have any more pilots that we can use. So it's just these two and the three vehicles. But I'm gonna call it quits here for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later. I'm <laughs> sorry.